Standing on the number two green at beautiful Butler Pitch and Putt. Got the skyline in the background, which that's changed quite a bit since you were <laughs> yeah, growing there, up out here. There weren't that many buildings above five stories back in the day when I was growing up. Yeah, well now skyscrapers everywhere. Uh, you know, if they say they say Zilker Park is the heartbeat of Austin, the heart of Austin, uh, then this is one of its uh, main arteries right over here, right next to Zilker Park between Auditorium Shores and, and Zilker. Uh, and it's just a great piece of green space, and they, they've preserved it here in downtown Austin. You come out here with your buddies. We're following a group from Austin High who are having their final exam out here yeah, uh, yeah, with their golf good, coach. Good to see. Yeah, and, and you know, more than anything, we try to you know, grow the game with young people getting involved. A course like this, it's not a hole over 100 yards. Just fun to be out here. Uh, great little burger shack up here. Uh, it's it's a perfect way to introduce people to the game. It really is. My first memories of golf are on here at Butler Pitch and Putt, and, as well as Lions Municipal with uh, my brothers and my dad. Uh, great place to come learn how to play um, if you're just getting going and, you know, just to have fun too. Uh, you know, a lot of people come out and we'll have some cocktails and go out and come out and play and just have a blast. And you can play in, I think, some groups of eight and stuff like that instead of just having to be a foursome. Well, and you can play in your lunch hour on a good day. You can play in 45 minutes to get nine holes in. But when you say introducing players to the game, you know, sometimes when a, a beginner, whether it's a, young, a, a youngster or an adult even, they get out on those long courses, that's intimidating. To come is. out here and see the pin that's only right down there and make a par or two, I mean, that's a real way to build confidence and say, you know what, I want, I want to learn more about this game. Exactly. I mean, yeah, being on a, a regular golf course is very frustrating for your, your new golfer. And if uh, more courses could get little par threes around, you know, whether it be three holes or six holes, I think it'd be really good to for ways to introduce people at the club and get them started before they get out on the real course. Well, and Harvey Penick would tell you this is where it all starts. Start with your short game, put the driver in the bag, learn to hit 100 yard, 50, 60 yard shots, and then learn to putt. You'll be a very good golfer once you get going, and this is a great place to do that. That's right. Here you go, Jacob. This is where you put your your coldie, your your, your little Yeti ho cup holder. You know, Yeti's a part of this 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 uh, rebuild and transformation. It's a local group that made sure this is always going to be here. Omar, for our golfers that are working on the short game. Yeah. Using the same club for all these shots pretty much. How do you uh, regulate distance with your short irons? Well, because of the grips I use, I'm able to uh, just move my finger into these little grooves. And that's the way I control my yardage. And when I grip down like this in each little groove, because it's a shorter club, I'm bent over more and it makes it harder to take a really full swing. So for me, the swing kind of shortens up automatically. And you still, you know, have to make sure you swing through it. But, um, you know, so I just, depending on how far I, so my yardage would is. would be like, so you this, don't go back as far for certain. This is almost a 90 yard shot. Now, yeah, this one's almost 90 yards. So it's almost a full sandwich for me. And if I needed to go to 75, I would move my finger from this groove here down to this groove. And then with my sandwich, it works a little differently compared to the rest of my clubs. My next groove is 50 yards. And then I go 35, 25, and 15. Cool. Um, so it just, I'm able to control just my by distance. by shortening the club, it really it just, is the yes. same swing, right? Right, just by gripping down on it. There you go. There's a tip from the pro. You know, and some of, sometimes you'll hear the terms one finger, two finger, or three finger, and that could be, so you maybe grip it, put two fingers there, you grip it, or you put three fingers there and grip it. And so that kind of does the same thing. Out here at Butler Pitch and Putt, beauty in downtown Austin. Uh, we got Carl Spackler here from Caddy Shack. Is that his name, Carl? Uh, yes. Uh, looking for the groundhogs. Uh, Omar, what a great day. <laughs> we caught a little cool day with some rain in the area, but man, 
uh, wonderful way. When I say spend an afternoon, you can spend an hour over here and have a good time. Yeah, you could. I mean, it, like we said earlier, it's 45 minutes, maybe an hour max to play nine holes. Uh, nice and relaxing atmosphere. Uh, you see kids, you see grown-ups, you see elderly out here playing and having a good time and just relaxing. People with their dogs out here. And yeah, this is a great way if you've not played golf, but you want to get into it, this is a really good spot to do it. You'll have fun, bring your spouse or wife or girlfriend, whoever it might be, have a good time with it, have a burger, and then uh, just learn to play golf. But then you can take on to the next step to some of the other courses we've featured here on the Tour of Texas Golf, but really great way to start it. Bring your kids out, let them get a club in their hands. They've got golf instruction out here as well at Butler Pitch and Putt in downtown Austin. That's right. I want to hit a car, I don't have insurance for that, you know what I'm saying? Colin Scully is the general manager here at Butler Pitch and Bust the Putt. How did you get uh, such a such a cool job? I ask my, myself that quite, quite often as well. Um, the stars aligned and I found myself here, you know, Selling the, the ownership group on how much I love this place, how much I've been coming out here over the years from what it used to be to after the renovations where we were trying to take this place as an asset for the Austin community. Came online in the late 40s and uh, there was a thought here recently with all the expansion and growth in Austin that it would be gone. Tell us about how it, it was saved. I mean, what was the process by the ownership group to make sure this is going to be here for a long time? For sure. Um, been a popular spot in Austin for for the community to come out and experience a different different approach to the game of golf and um, with the new group coming in uh, spending almost a million dollars renovating the the property and the course uh, the big goal was to open it up to make it more approachable to an even larger audience so um, families younger kids uh, the ladies side of golf uh, it's really you know, expanding the courtyard um, you know, improving the, the tee boxes and greens just makes it a much more bright and, a, and approachable course out here. Feels like Austin, and you can spend an afternoon out here, you can spend a couple hours out here, an hour out here and have a good time. Yeah, Omar? So is there any talk of them maybe putting some lights out eventually? So we are a city park. Um, we do have uh, some limitations uh, and some red tape we got to work around there. Yeah. Uh, so full on stadium lights that I know we would all love to, yeah. to see out here, are I mean, unfortunately not, off the table, but we're actually working on getting some low voltage lights all, all pointing downwards. So at least the tee boxes and greens are all lit up. And then with the, with the addition of, you know, some glow balls or some additional equipment, we should, yeah. be, should be able to extend our, our playing hours oh, into the evening. Good, that would be, uh, that'd be really good. A lot of yeah. fun for everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, great idea, Omar. Night golf. And that's what we need. We need some night golf in Austin, Texas, especially in the hot summer days. Uh, keep this thing rolling. Uh, Colin, the, uh, the price when you come down here and play a round of golf. And what are you going to get out of here with? I saw you get a burger, a Wagyu, double Wagyu burger from the food truck for 14 bucks. Uh, that's not bad at all for downtown Austin. What's uh, if a guy wants to come out and sees this video and wants to take up golf, what's it going to set him back when he gets down here? Yeah, for adults, uh, Monday through Thursday, it's $13 for, for your round of nine. Um, if you want to uh, replay and play another nine from there, it's half price off of that. So come on. Uh, on the weekends, it's $15 for adults, and then we have discounted junior and uh, senior and veteran rates as well. Affordable, time-friendly, local, and uh, gosh, just Uber down here. Parking wasn't bad at all. They got street parking and parking garages, and over here at the Auditorium Shores, you can find a parking spot usually. Weekends might be a little tougher. Uh, what a great gem. What a great spot. Thanks for being here. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate you highlighting it. It's the Callahan's General Store Tour of Central Texas Golf. Summertime is here. Get out to Butler Pitch and Putt. Learn the game, have fun with your buddies. Heck, bring the, bring the girlfriend, bring the dog. Have a great time.